All right, here's a quick look around um, that 2019 Pathfinder. This is the SL. So I'll kind of go over around the outside for you and go over some of the features of the inside. Uh, really, really awesome looking car. Looks like it's in really, really good shape. Um, the tires are also like brand new looking. There's a ton, a ton of life left in the tires. Four-wheel drive Pathfinder SL it has the auto lift gate there. The parking sensors you can see on the back. Um, this one does not have the uh, the tow hitch on it, so we would have to add that if this was the one for you. Um, you do get the third row, some nice storage down here for anything. And there's that button you push to let that go back down. And then coming into the back seat here, right now everything's kind of folded down, so I'll go ahead and throw that up. So a ton of room in the back. On this SL version, you do get heated seats in the rear, two plugs, and then a full on plug right there. So super, super nice for the people in the back. Um, and they do also get control to, oh, let's turn on up front, to control to the temperature. So you can have a um, temperature, temperature control in the rear with the air vents there. And then going up front, this button on the door lets you lock and unlock the door. Uh, so you can keep the key in your purse or pocket at all times. You do get two seat settings, auto windows in the front, uh, electric seats. Now inside we get the heated seats up front, the dual temperature control. On the steering wheel here, we're gonna have the cruise control with the um, adaptive cruise control settings to keep you a certain distance from the car in front of you. The blind spot monitors here in the corner, so light up. And then down here by left, we have our tow mode. So that's already in there, which is super, super good for when we do get a tow hitch on there. Um, so tow mode there, um, you get the uh, steering wheel heater here, that clicks on, warms up that steering wheel, and then the lift gate there. Um, so it's got 39,000 miles on it. Right now it is low fuel, but there's the two wheel drive. Right here you can see we can go to auto um, or lock it in four wheel drive if we needed to. So you can turn that lock and back off, back to auto and two wheel drive. Um, you do have the built in navigation on this one. So super nice added feature there. But let me know what you think of this one and if you have any other questions.